All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of 100 Ways to Make 100K. I'm your host, Javon.ca, and in episode six, we've got a special guest by the name of Rafa Loza. I'm going to make sure I tag him in all the comments below, but I want to tell you a little bit about him. So I actually met him on a Zoom call, and I was driving to Missouri at the time. Now, I shouldn't have been on Zoom, but I was still definitely tapped in. And, you know, super interesting perspectives on short-term rentals. Now, a lot of people always want the vacations. They always want the cottage homes, but Rafa focuses on the nursing uh, on the short-term rentals for professionals and not necessarily short-term like you're renting it for a weekend but renting it for like three months at a time for example and he focuses on traveling nurses so I thought it was a really cool episode i hope you guys tune in i hope you enjoy and if you got value from it or shifted your perspective just a little i'd love for you to share it with your favorite people on whatever platform you share it on so thanks so much for tuning in this is episode six of 100 ways to make 100k hey man how you doing good buddy how are you oh i'm fantastic what's your name uh, I am a short-term rental investor. I've been doing short-term rentals for about six years, currently have uh, 47 properties under management, and I'm a part of Legacy Family. So, Rafa, I want I got a question for you. You think you, could, you think you could give me some time? Yeah, yeah, let's do it. So, have you ever made 100K before in a year? Yes, sir, I have. You think you could take me back to that time and tell me a little bit of a story about it? Yeah, so I... It's kind of, to keep it short, when I first started doing this, I started doing a strategy in real estate called short-term rental arbitrage, where we lease out other people's properties or we work with investors and then I lease them long-term, I get them furnished and then I put them up on websites like Airbnb and I offer it to like corporate rentals, things like that. The first year when I started, uh, I built a portfolio of 19 of those when I first, first began. And from those 19 was when my first 100K for the year came from in revenue and in terms of profit. So tell me, like, how do you even start something like that? Yeah. So funny you say that. I actually started this with $6,000 in my pocket and a $9,000 credit card that I borrowed from my brother. And I went out trying to find a way to cash flow. And I found out about the short-term rental model and how great the cash flow was. And I've always been a cash flow investor. And so what I did is I started talking to property managers, making phone calls, um, building relationships, going to networking uh, events, and talking to investors, owners, landlords, and telling them that what I did was short-term rentals and that the, the strategy that I did is I would end their vacancy, I would pay them a little bit above uh, market rent or the same amount for a long-term lease, and I would get the place furnished, make it look beautiful by a designer, and then I would offer it to other people, um, either like on Airbnb or through a corporate rental, a medical professional, a nurse who needs a place to stay, um, and all those clients. And um, after a long maybe six, seven months of no's. I finally got my first yes when somebody who wanted to work with me and it just kind of took off from there and started building the relationships. Interesting. So, Rafa, have you ever made 100K in a month? Yes, sir, I have. Okay, tell me about that. Yeah, so it's the same. Okay, so here's the thing. When you get into this business model, it's gonna sound boring because it's not that exciting, but when you get into my business model, you start to scale very fast and very rapidly. You build a lot of relationships. If you get one good investor, this one investor will start offering you properties to do rental arbitrage and you build cash flow really quickly. Well, one thing you'll notice is that a one bedroom apartment with this model generates you about a thousand to two thousand dollars cash flow every single month. If you think about that, how many do you really need in order to be able to get to that in one month, right? Um, I was able to do that super, super quick. Um, it took me about two and a half years and I did my first 100K in a month. So have you ever made 100K in a day? That is a good question because I haven't measured it to that point. Yes, actually, I have. Tell me about it. So this was a, a multiple of different things. It was a multiple of short-term rentals, right? As I grew my portfolio, if you do the revenue that I've generated, if you, it, it will amount to 100K in a day, but you don't count it all as one source of income. I have a coaching company a, uh, where I teach people how to do short-term rentals, how to do them correctly. And I have a, um, a sourcing company from a wholesaler who I bought a deal. All those three things combined when the revenue came in after I purchased the property and did the full bird deal and pulled the money out of it, I got it back in that one day with the revenue from the short-term rentals and the revenue from the coaching company all came in into that one single 24-hour period. Rafa, that's awesome. So if you were to go back and talk to the old Rafa who's never done any of this, right? Yeah. And he's like, hey, future Rafa, how do I make 100K? How do I make my first 100? You know, what would you, uh, what would you suggest? Um, I would say the best advice I could give is work steadily and constantly, 
right? Make an actionable step every single day that you can do to get to that next point every single day. So if you have to get to 100 properties to make those 100 grand, well, how are you going to get to those 100 properties? You're going to create an actionable step every single day so that tomorrow, whether it's make 100 cold calls, whether it's reach out to 100 investors, whether it's set up one new property, whatever the case may be, one actionable step will set you up so much further to get to that level. But it's slow and steady, right? This isn't a get rich quick scheme. This is a slow and steady wins the race long-term wealth and income. Believe me, if I can do it, anybody here can do it. So, Rafa, what's what's your next right step? My, my next what? Right step. I am going to get into purchasing a apartment complex to convert to a boutique hotel for short-term rentals. Gorgeous. And, Rafa, if you don't mind me asking, where can people find you online? Yeah, best way to get a hold of me is on Instagram. It's Rafa underscore Loza, but the, it's L-Z-R-O-Z-A. Um, and I have a YouTube channel where I talk about a lot of short-term rental stuff and I have a podcast called The Big Break Show where we bring on speakers to help with investors, entrepreneurship, and mindset. Awesome, Rafa. Thanks so much, man. We appreciate you. Yeah, brother. All right, and that is episode six in the bag. Shout out my guy, Rafa Loza. We appreciate him being on the show. We appreciate him sharing his perspective. Now, what did you guys take from this? You know, I thought it was a really interesting episode and I'm super excited to, you know, continue learning and following along on his journey. Uh, but once again, that's Rafa. I'm Javon.ca, and this is episode six of 100 Ways to Make 100K. We'll see you guys on the next one.